Hi there. Welcome to the video on importing your company's contacts and staff. We're going to talk about how to fill out the Excel workbook for getting your data into Function Point. After you've filled out the workbook, you can send it to your consultant who will do the import for you. It's got two tabs, one for companies and contacts and one for staff. Your consultant can do one import for each, but if you forget something, don't worry. You can always enter it manually. If you like, you can cut and paste from other programs, but make sure you don't change the structure of the workbook. For both tabs, it's important not to move any columns or delete or modify any of the headers. Let's begin with the Staff tab. For each FP license you want to assign, enter a first and last name. You can enter an extension and title too if you want. You'll also want to grant some permissions to define what people can do in the system. The permissions you assign here are just a starting point and you'll be able to customize them after the import. Basic users can log in and submit timesheets. AEs can see everything except the admin area and major financial reports. Traffic managers can't see the admin area either, but they have access to more reports than the AEs do. Administrators have access to all parts of the system. We've created some default alert subscriptions to match the permissions. Alerts are how Function Point communicates with users. They can be notifications within the system, or they can be emails. Setting them at this stage is optional, and it's not a bad idea to leave the field blank for now. That way, people won't get alerts about things that happen during training. It is a good idea to enter everyone's email, though. After the import, your staff will appear as contacts for your company and in the staff list in your admin area. Their logins will be created, all with the same default format. First name, space, last name as the username, first initial, last name, all lowercase as the password. Now for the Companies and Contacts tab. For each company, the columns with the yellow headers are required. The Company Abbreviation column is optional. If you leave it blank, the system will auto-generate an abbreviation for each company. You will need to select a company type, though. Next, you'll need to specify an industry. You can put anything you want here, design studio, educational institution, manufacturer, etc. You'll also need to specify whether the company is active or inactive. Why would you want to enter one that's inactive? Well, if you're using FP as your CRM tool, you might want to hang on to the info of clients you're no longer working with. The company overview field is optional. It's a large field in FP, so feel free to be as detailed as you like. The other fields are optional as well. You can fill them out if you want, but don't worry if you don't have that information handy. You'll be able to update all this stuff after the import too. You don't have to add a contact for every company, but if you do, you do need to fill out all four of the columns with the green headers. You can add more than one contact for a company if you want. Just add them each on their own line and repeat the mandatory fields for the company on each of those lines. The company details will only import once with all the contacts underneath. Every contact needs to have a company. For freelancers, you can enter the person's name as both the company and the contact. If you want to be able to enter expenses for your staff for things like travel and meals, you'll want to enter your staff in this tab as well. This time though, enter a modified version of the staff person's name as both the company and the contact and give them a company type of vendor or supplier. After your consultant has done the import, you'll be able to log into Function Point and pull up a list of all your companies and click on any company in that list to get to its details page. To update it, click Edit Details. You can do the same thing with the contacts listed under each company. That's all you really need to know about the data import. Feel free to contact your consultant with any questions.